Welcome fellow car lovers. Seems like Kia is trying hard to create a great sporty sedan. Meanwhile, Toyota is going for a slower and more efficient take on the same topic. So will Kia be able to finally beat Toyota? Let's go find out by taking a look at the 2025 Toyota Camry and the 2025 Kia K5. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe, like the video and hit that bell icon. Now, let's start with the video. For 2025, the family sedan gets a fresh look and bolsters its thrifty credibility by switching its once broad powertrain lineup, which just last year included a V6 as well as both hybrid and non-hybrid four cylinders to include only two hybrid options. The Kia K5 sedan gets styling updates for 2025. The K5's new headlights and taillights, as well as a major update to its interior, were first debuted on the Korean market K5. Last year's turbocharged 1.6-liter 4 has also been replaced with a non-turbo 2.5-liter unit that makes slightly more power at 191 ponies. The new 2025 Camry is simpler as it only has one engine option available and that is a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder hybrid that produces 225 horsepower for front-wheel drive and 232 for all-wheel drive. Being a hybrid, its lowest combined MPG rating is 43 with its highest being 49. MSRP starts at $28,400 to $36,125. The new 2025 K5 comes standard with a 2.5-liter inline-four engine that produces 191 horsepower that is paired with a front-wheel drive, while all-wheel drive is also available. There is also a beefier 2.5-liter turbo inline-four producing 290 horsepower that can only be paired to the front wheels. Combined MPG rating is in the range of 27 to 30 miles per gallon, while MSRP starts at $28,145 and tops at $35,645. The 2025 Camry comes with many pros. One of the standout features of the Camry is its hybrid-only powertrain, which results in better fuel efficiency when compared to the K5. Unlike the K5, the Camry also gets standard wireless charging pad and 7-inch digital gauge cluster. It also has an available 10-inch color heads-up display. However, the 2025 Camry is not perfect. Surprisingly, the Camry has less interior passenger room than the Kia K5. It also has a less engaging driving experience as acceleration can be sluggish. Lastly, unlike the Kia K5 that comes with remote start as standard, it is not an available feature for the Camry. The 2025 K5 also comes with many pros. The GT model, with its turbocharged 2.5-liter engine, provides brisk acceleration and a more engaging driving experience. The K5 Sport tuned suspension and dual-clutch transmission also make it a standout in terms of driving pleasure. Lastly, unlike the Camry, the K5 comes standard with a 12.3-inch infotainment. When compared to the Camry, the K5 does fall short in some aspects. Unlike the Camry, the K5 does not offer any real leather seat trim option. Paddle shifters are also only available in the GT trim. Although the K5 has overall better interior space, its rear seat space might also be somewhat tighter compared to the Camry. In summary, the 2025 Toyota Camry is a solid choice for those prioritizing reliability, fuel efficiency, and a comfortable, high-quality interior. Its conservative styling, less interior room and less sporty handling might be drawbacks for some, but it does get great standard features. The 2025 Kia K5, on the other hand, offers a more contemporary design and a sportier driving experience. It provides excellent value for money and also includes standard and available features that appeal to tech-savvy buyers. However, it does have tighter rear seating and is less fuel efficient. Which do you think is a better vehicle to buy? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video, turn on notifications, and subscribe.